And uh, the Minister's four minutes to reply. Yep. Thanks, Chair. Two um, more afterwards. And look, we, we did have a bit of news earlier in the week with this, and I just need to acknowledge that at the start, in an article featured in the Irish Examiner, courtesy of Danny McConnell sitting above us here, um, and the early indications coming out of um, out of out of this announcement, um, you know, seem to suggest that the confirmation that we've all been looking for in Cork North Central, uh, like Deputy Barry Over um, and all the deputies in Cork North Central, we've all been fighting the coroner for. Well, many of us have been fighting for the coroner for, for, for this hospital to be located in Glenmire, and it now appears that this will, will be the case. Um, look, we've all had this debate, as I said, over the last 12 months, if not longer, in relation to the preferred site. You know, Sarsfield Court is an existing mental hospital there. It's being used currently. There's over 100 acres, which will allow for future expansion. Uh, and there's so many positive attributes with the site itself being so close to the existing motorway, which will obviously in the future, if it is developed, um, lead to greater accessibility for patients and users. So we, we've, I suppose, sung the praises of the Sarsfield Court site for many, many months now, and it seems that we're coming to, to, to a close on this issue, and I believe that um, it will be finalised uh, before Cabinet next Wednesday, I think, or next Tuesday. So all that is looking positive. Um, the new hospital will include nine operating theatres, seven endoscopy suites, six outpatient diagnostic suites, and when it's operational, we'll have a staff complement of approximately 300. So all this is being delivered by this government, as I said, um, as we build towards a future salon care model. Um, the phrase that the Taoiseach used the other day in the Dáil, I'd like to quote him on it again, uh, it featured in the same article in the Examiner, uh, we need to take the issue by the scruff of the neck. And I suppose I'm here tonight, um, I, and I want to reiterate what the Taoiseach said, take it by the scruff of the neck. Scruff of the neck. And the Taoiseach, on, on many occasions here, when it comes specifically to large infrastructure and items in the National Development Plan, has said it's all about delivery. And what we need to see now is no more speculation about this. We need to see a decision. We need to see it progress through tender and through planning. And we need to see it delivered uh, as quickly as possible. Now, there are dates being speculated about as early as 27, 28 for the delivery of that hospital. Um, and I think it's important that when we're speculating about those, uh, the best way that this government can make sure that we can facilitate that type of a timeline is with the upcoming review of the Planning Act um, being led by the Taoiseach's office and the Attorney General. So in that uh, legislation, we need to see provision for large-scale strategic infrastructure like this so that it can be treated expeditiously in a streamlined manner so that we can get on, as the Taoiseach has said, taking it by the scruff of the neck and delivering. Um, and you know, there's a number of capital projects in the Glenmire area. The flood relief scheme has been well spoken about in here as well in recent months. And that's something that has been slowed down because of uh, difficulties in planning initially uh, that went on for an, an awful long time. But most recently, you know, with the cost of um, building materials and inflationary pressures, uh, that project has also uh, been set back by a number of months. But gladly, it is back on track uh, for maybe March, April next year. So as I said, just to reiterate that point, I think if the government is serious about these hospitals, not just in Cork, but also in Limerick and Galway, we need to see... Um, delivery, not just on the ground, but in terms of legislation that's meant to come before us in the next couple of weeks, in terms of reforms in the Planning Act, which will facilitate those large infrastructure projects. Thank you for raising this issue. And the cross-party launch report in 2017 articulated a new vision for healthcare in Ireland, including provision of elective-only hospitals, providing protective capacity for elective care. And this policy has also been informed by a number of subsequent policy documents and government decisions, including the 2017 Slauncha Care Report, the Slauncha Care Implementation Strategy 2018, the National Development Plan 2018, the Programme of Government 2020, the Slauncha Care Implementation Strategy and Action Plan 2021 to 2023, and finally, the new National Elective Ambulatory Care Strategy agreed by the Government in December 2021. And this new strategy aims to change the way in which day cases, scheduled procedures, surgery scans and outpatient surgeries can be better arranged <coughs> excuse me, to ensure greater capacity in the future and help to reduce waiting times at a national level. 
and the development of additional capacity will be provided through dedicated, standalone elective hospitals in Cork, Galway and Dublin. The elective care scope of service will be developed in two phases, commencing with day cases, diagnostics and outpatients, and then by inpatient treatment. On this basis, the elective care centres will be designed to provide sufficient capacity to facilitate future phases, including some elective inpatient capacity, thereby providing a sustainable and strategic response to cater for the highly dynamic landscape of healthcare policy and practice. The locations chosen for the new elective care centres will allow for new facilities of a size and scale to implement a national elective care programme. This means that the new facilities will be designed to maximise their capacity and in doing so will operate to meet the demands of as wide catchment area as possible, extending beyond existing and future health areas and locating the new facilities in Cork, Dublin and Galway will enable us to cover more than four-fifths of the entire population of the state. I am conscious of the strong support and public support for these new facilities and the desire expressed by many including new deputies, Sullivan, for them to be developed as quickly as possible. And I'll say to you that it is important we follow due process with regard to developing our plans to ensure value for money from this significant strategic development. And this means that we're following the public spending code process. And as part of this detailed programme and project, preliminary business cases for Cork and Galway have been developed and undergone both internal and external assurances. They will be coming to government very shortly for approval in principle, and I would not wish to prejudge the process, but can assure you, Deputy, that we will make an announcement on locations of the emerging preferred sites once that approval is given. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Two more minutes. To a big fanfare that the site has been chosen as Glenmire here this evening, but it is, uh, it, it's not a secret anymore. Look, many of us would have been aware of the preferred site being Glenmire up to eight months ago, to be honest. Um, that detail was quite well known. As I said, I don't expect you to confirm it here this evening, but that was a fact. Look, I just want to, I just have one question, but before I do that, I do have to commend uh, Minister McGrath's work on this. I know that. The business case and the public spending court process that you mentioned there in your response, his department turned that around in a, in a matter of weeks. It's just unfortunate that you know this report spent eight months in the Department of Health sitting on a desk when, as I said earlier, and I referenced that the Taoiseach has said we need to start delivering major infrastructure like this, um, eight months sitting in, in the Department of Health doesn't necessarily uh, fill me with confidence that we're going to you know, work on large-scale projects like this expeditiously as we need to. So look, Minister, as I said, I didn't expect you to come in here and confirm the site for me. I'm assuming that will be done post-Cabinet next week. But just two brief points, if I can. Um, first of all, you, you mentioned in your response, or the response that was given to you, that very shortly um, the Government will announce it, but it will be approved in principle. Can you just maybe elaborate on what in principle means? Is it subject to any other type of confirmation that you might be able to make us aware of? Um, and secondly, um, uh, as I said, it, 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 it spent eight months in the Department of Health. And as I said, you know, if that's how we treat these um, major infrastructure schemes, um, I, I, I do fear for the future. I think that, you know, um, as, as I reiterated again, taking things by the scruff of the neck to me means making decisions quickly. Um, and cutting out an awful lot of the red tape, which drives many of us in here demented. So I'd, I'd appreciate if you could expand on what approval in principle means. Go on, This issue went, as I said in my opening remarks, I am conscious of the desire of you, Deputy O'Sullivan, for the new elective facilities in Cork, and in particular that they are delivered as soon as possible. And I agree that introducing this new delivery capability into the public healthcare system will benefit the good people of Cork and indeed the whole population. And I'm keen, as you are, that they get to work as quickly as possible. Uh, I suppose being approved in principle understands that the, the government were given a commitment. However, I am aware that the government has a duty to ensure value for money when delivering projects such as this. And it is important to follow due process. As I said earlier, preliminary business cases will be coming to government for consideration very soon. 
And I know the Taoiseach suggested just yesterday in the dial that this could be as early as next week. And as soon as the government approval in principle is given to those, we will be in a position to announce the locations of emerging preferred sites at Cork and Galway. This will then allow us to move on to the next stage of the programme, development of detailed project design, project brief and procurement strategy. And we are taking all possible steps to move the projects forward as quickly as possible within the current rules. And I look forward to being able to make a further announcement soon and appreciate the deputy support in this matter. Um, I do not have um, the, uh, the exact location, but um, if my esteemed colleague uh, Dan McConnell says that it is in Glenmire, well, then I suspect it is. Uh, but um, that has not uh, been officially revealed yet.